So how, go how are we going to do this? Making plants 20 times more efficient to store carbon stably. So, so the first part of this is to actually find a molecule um, that um, is not easily degraded. So that fungi or bacteria are typically not very efficient in degrading and releasing the carbon dioxide. So we want that the plant actually fixes the CO2 like it already does and puts into a material that is stably in the soil, right? And the material that we have found through um, uh, uh, um, preliminary experiments and, uh, and data is actually uh, called suberin. It is, it, is, um, it is a polymer, so it contains a lot of carbon atoms in its molecular structure, and it is very, very, very um, um, resilient to uh, decomposition. So it is uh, one of the most longest lived carbon forms in the soil. And the nice thing about suberin that you might know as cork, um, um, and uh, anyone, so, so Joe Noel, my, my colleague who is also in the audience, he al 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 always um, comes up with this experiment that he did a couple of years ago, throwing cork in his compost and the cork doesn't degrade. Um, and that's suberin, right? So, and we know the biochemical pathways that make suberin. So the idea is to basically try to um, enhance those, those pathways of the plants that actually produce suberin. Right, and so, so then if the plant would make enough sovereign, it could be stable in the soil. The second um, uh, is that um, if the root system produces this stable carbon polymer, um, we're gonna make the root system bigger and deeper, that basically much more of the polymer can be stored into, into the, uh, in the soil. And, and for this, we basically will use a perennial plant, so a plant that lives multiple years and doesn't die every year, like most plants that are used in agriculture, because they have actually very extensive rooting systems, uh, and they are also very good for soil health, and plus um, they are actually more resistant to, uh, uh, to uh, um, extreme environments, such as drought or flooding. Um, so, so the trick will be to basically have a plant it has, has an extensive root system, lives a long time, and can, over the lifetime of its existence, uh, put a lot of carbon very stably in the soil. That's the simple idea.